Uh, today we're going to carry out a testing procedure on the Fisher & Paykel Smart Drive pumps. Now these can cause a lot of havoc to the machine. Sometimes you will get an error code, sometimes you won't. Um, when the machine can stop halfway through its cycle, especially on spin, and restart again and cause all sorts of problems, but it's a lot of the times it's the pump. So what we'll do now is we're going to test the resistance on both of these. So the correct reading for a pump should be 33 ohms. This is 31.7, which is slightly low. So now we're going to plug it in to a power supply and run it for five minutes. I have just made up a short extension cord with some um, spade terminals and to plug it in just be careful that they do not touch each other before you start it running set it on its side with the earth tag upwards and plug it in now we're going to wait for two or three minutes to see if it warms up or stops. There is an overheat switch inside the pump itself so if we'll wait for two minutes and see. So after three minutes this pump switched itself off. It is very hot to touch so that pump is no good at all. Test the good one. Now this is giving us a reading of 35, which is slightly too high, but it will run. We'll plug this pump in now. So I'm going to run this pump for five minutes and test the temperature then. Okay, I have unplugged the pump and switched it off and the pump is, it should be only slightly warm, not hot at all. So this tests as a good pump. I hope this helps some people.